Hi, I'm Lorraine Gregory and I'm a full-time Benish choreologist with the Royal Ballet. I first came across Benish at the Hammond School in Chester, which is where I trained as a dancer. Um, so I did a little bit there with a lady called Jane Elliott, who was previously a notator with the Royal Ballet Company. Uh, she worked quite a lot with Kenneth Macmillan. I then danced professionally for two years. I then went and studied art history at Manchester University. Um, and following that, I was applying for various jobs in theatre and the arts, um, but realised that I really still wanted to be working in dance. Um, and decided to go back and uh, study Benish more seriously through the course offered by Benish International. Um, the course was really suitable for what I needed right then because it meant that I could work alongside study um, as the course was distance learning and very flexible. Throughout my training I was really fortunate to be offered several opportunities to get work experience. I actually did a work experience placement at the Royal Opera House, where I now work. I worked at the Gene International Ballet Competition with young choreographer Charlotte Edmonds uh, to notate pieces that she created for the Gene. The role of a Benish choreologist during a creation of a new ballet is very varied. We are in the studio throughout the creation process, working alongside the choreographer and documenting everything that he or she is creating. Because we are there throughout the process, we tend to have access to all the information that is involved in the creation of that ballet. So we become a sort of point of contact for various other departments. We're also obviously active with the dancers, helping them remember choreography day to day, making sure that the piece is all cleaned up and perfected before it reaches the stage. So a typical day of a Benish choreologist uh, working at the Royal Ballet, some days we can be in the studio all day from sort of 12 o'clock until 6.30 p.m. Pretty much straight through, very active, very involved in what's going on, and that's a very practical aspect of the job. Other days can be um, basically sitting in the office and writing up scores, um, amending scores, checking things, uh, learning new ballets, um, all sorts of things. So that's a very solitary aspect of the job. Um, so to sum up, a typical day in the life of a choreologist is there really isn't a typical day. Each day uh, you have to take it as it comes and you can find yourself doing pretty much anything um, within the realms of the Royal Opera House.